The Life and Achievements of Simmer Quest, a graphic artist and illustrator. He was born in Bronx, New York in 1931, and his interest in drawing and animation began after watching the Walt Disney movie, Snow White. At a very young age, he participated in Works Progress Administration sponsored art classes. And uh, at the age of eight, he was able to attend the World's Fair held at the Corona Park in New York, accompanied by his mother. In high school, he was introduced to graphic design by his art teacher and joined Abraham Lincoln's Elite Art Squad. After he graduated in high school, he published his first illustration, It's All Yours, issue of 17 Art. In 1950, he and his classmates formed Pushpin Studios. This served as an outlet for young designers to show off their skills. In 1951, he graduated from Cooper Union School of Art. And in 1973, he was married to Paula Scheer, who is also a graphic artist. Here are some of the designers and illustrators that influenced Seymour Quest's style. He borrowed freely from the past movements, namely Victoriana, Art Nouveau, Art Deco to create new designs that integrates type and art. He is a constant follower of historical styles and movements and was never afraid of experimenting new things and reapply some old styles. During the Cooper years, Quas was also influenced by Ben Shen, George Gross, Georges Ruault, and Honor Damier. Simmer Quest, passion for historical design, has introduced the knowledge, appreciation, and reapplication of past styles and forms. As a result, he designed and drew on the 19th century illustrations in his Houdini poster in 1973. In 1971, he worked together with Phyllis Lafarge to produce the book The Pancake King. The Book of Battle, one of Quas's original work and still provocative, hand-printed, hand-colored, with an anti-war sentiment. The pushpin graphic printing of the Metropolitan has been a continual outlet for new designers and illustrators to showcase their talent and tackled issues on nutrition, health, and political issues. In 1948, Quas published his first illustration in its All Yours issue of 79. In 1953, he published the first issue of his Pushpin's Almanac. In 1980, Pushpin's client base continued to grow with corporates like uh, Mohawk, New York Times, and Time Warner. In 1996, he launched the periodical called The Nose. It was dedicated to tackle relevant social issues. In 1970, the Pushpin style was showcased at the Louvre Musée des Arts Décoratifs in Paris. From 1951 until 1954, he was a designer in several companies like New York Times, Esquire, Reba Sockis Associates, House and Garden, and Glamour. In 1970, American design the pushpin style was showcased at Paris. 
1996, he launched The Nose, a periodical that tackles relevant social issues. In 1983, he was in the, inducted into the Art Director's Hall of Fame. In 1997, he received a Master Award in Retrospective Exhibition, School of Visual Arts, New York. Seymour Quest continued to mine his own site for expressive art to explore, examine, and uncover new ideas. His pushpin style and the nose provide a fertile outlet for experimentation that continues in the pushpin graphic tradition as a good vehicle for both promotion and expression. Bauhaus and Swiss flourish in the 20th century, and its elegant geometrics could have spread even more had it not because of the pushpin style's influence, which gave us a good alternative and something America can be proud of.